Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, this haul was kind of a small one. It's a small one for me. Um, you know I usually have those big old long hauls and uh, this video may end up being long because I have friend mail over here that I want to open after I show you guys the goodies that I picked up. All right, um, I'm going to show you first, right off the bat, what's pictured in the thumbnail. I found these planters at the Dollar Tree. They're hexagon planters, and they come in white with a gold top. They come in, excuse me, white with a black top. And they also come in black with a white top. So there's three different colors that you can choose from. And these are awesome. I mean, what a great little planter um, for your plants. They look real pretty on the top and they're plastic. And I really like them a lot. I think they're pretty fancy looking for Dollar Tree. Let me measure them for you. Where's my... They are... <clears throat> eight inches. They're eight inches all around, obviously, because it's a hexagon shape. And they are... Four and three quarters inches deep. So they have this little sticker on the front. They're part of the gardens collection. And uh, you could probably do a ton of other things with this. You could um, use them to decorate on the wall. You could make like little shadow boxes out of them. You can store things in them. You could do anything that you wanted with these. Um, but I just loved the colors. I like the black and the white. I like the white and the black. And then of course the gold really really pretty great great i bought two of each color if you can't tell so i got those that was quite the deal all right let's see um next thing i want to show you guys is these bag clips they're nothing exciting but i gotta tell you these are some of the best bag clips that dollar tree sells i bought them one other time and uh, I like them so much. They're so strong that I picked up another package. Let me see if I can rip this. Get one out. They're very, very, like you really have to press to get them. They're not magnetic or anything. They have this little rubber section here. And uh, they look like that. But they come in gray, blue, and red. And I really... Highly, highly recommend them. Sorry, I ripped this. It says for food storage, small toys. I don't know why they would be good for small toys. Craft supplies and paper files. So that's what it says on the little tag. I mean, I guess they mean if you put small toys in a bag and then clip it. I don't know. Because I wouldn't want a kid to think this was a small toy. Anyway, I grabbed these. I really like them a lot. I'm going to put them in my kitchen as soon as we get off camera here. And uh, I especially like the red one because it goes with my kitchen. And uh, if you see these, they're hang my I found them hanging up in the kitchen section. So that's those. Then I picked up a couple of these mosquito repellent uh, by Pick. They're mosquito repellent coils. You get four of them and uh, they're for outdoor use. Each coil burns five to seven hours. And I picked up two boxes because summertime is coming and those mosquitoes are going to get you. They're going to get you. So I picked them up for some outdoor activities in the backyard this summer. So I grabbed those. <clears throat> I also grabbed this uh, Bic four color pen got four colors it's got blue pink hmm what colors blue pink purple and green 
And you guys remember these from when we were kids. You just press the little button down and it writes whatever color you press down. I'm going to give it a try. Because you know what? I haven't had one of these kind of pens in a long time. I bought one for my, uh, for my manager at my store because she had this gigantic push color pen that looked like a child's toy. And I was like, you know what? You need to get rid of this pen. You need something that looks a little more uh, professional. So there's the blue. Then you click the green down. There's the green. Let's see, pink. And last but not least, purple. Caroline will love the purple writing. She is obsessed with the color purple now. Obsessed, which is why I bought this next item. I didn't buy the item for her, but I picked these colors. They are stylus pens. And uh, they're supposed, you can supposedly hold your phone with this pen, like a phone stand. I'm gonna open it up. I can't show you how it works because I film with my phone, so I can't really show you. But I guess you put your phone in this little thing right here, in this section right there, and it's flat on the bottom, and it would supposedly hold your phone. And then you got your little stylus thing here, and the top pops off, and it's a pen. Ooh, three in one. How can you stand it? You get three things for the price of one. I picked up this purple one and this beautiful gorgeous royal blue one so those are the two that come in this pack there were i don't know five or six different color uh choices so i got these i'll let you know how the the phone thing works i'll try it after we get off camera and i'll tell you in my next video um i also picked up this reusable shopping bag absolutely love the pattern on this plain green on the side and it does have a nice big bottom it holds a lot because i actually bought um two of these and i put all of my stuff in one bag and used the other one just to um have as a backup because you can never have enough shopping bags i am completely addicted to them among the other 99,000 things I'm addicted to <laughs> and then I picked up uh one of these storage bins I really liked the um black and white and the white and black plaid like window pane ones I think they were a little better quality than these because I opened one of these up already to put the kids toys in let's see if I can open this and it's nice. I mean, for a dollar, you can't beat it. But I really liked the other ones better. I thought they were a little a little more quality. The um, material, I don't know if you can hear me over this noise. But noise, noise, noise. You guys know that from uh, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? When he hears the, when the drumsticks are hitting against his head. And he's complaining about the who's down in Whoville. Anyway. <laughs> Off track there for a second. I picked up this uh, little basket just for the kids' toys. Um, you know, stuffed animals, little things that can, you know, get all over the place. And it's kind of see-through. So see what I mean? How it's not as quality or thick material as the other ones. But I grabbed it because it'll do the, it'll serve its purpose. So I got that. And then I found, you guessed it, socks. This value pack, three pair of socks. I've been on the hunt for plain socks. Now that I'm working, um, you know, I need to have professional looking socks under my pants. So I got these and they look really nice. I like, you know, the ribbed little design on them. And you get three of them for a buck. Can't beat it. I wish they had other colors, but all they had was gray. And it fits shoe size four to 10, which is good. That's good for me. 
Uh, then I found this uh, Simply Spa Bath and Body Care Charcoal Infused Exfoliating Bath Glove. So that should be fun. Not fun, but you know what I mean? It removes dull, <clears throat> dull, dry, damaged skin to create the ultimate clean feeling. This gentle yet exfoliating process renews and revives the skin, bringing it back to its natural, healthy glow. So I got this. This was in the section where they have all the scrubby things that you um, wash with and the iPads and that type of thing. That's where I found this in my store. I also picked up this nail polish. I thought this was a really pretty, nice spring summer color. It's by Sassy and Chic. It's number 945. And does it even have, does it have a name? No, I think they just have colors. I mean, numbers. But I thought it was really pretty. I think I might that put that on again because my other nail polish is gone already. That's why I hate to get um, manicures because they last for me about a week. Between dishes and doing this and that and the other thing, they always get chipped. Always. And they were looking a little rough yesterday. So I took all that polish off and trimmed down my nails and you get what you get. Um, so I was able to find a couple flower um, eyeshadow chubbies. And this is Teal We Meet Again. Teal We Meet Again. I picked up two. So these are really nice. This, this brand flower is by Drew Barrymore. It says flower. Love the way you look. Silky tint of color. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see how pretty it is, huh? Ooh. It's a little darker than I had thought it would be, but it goes on very smooth. Very nice. I, I imagine maybe you could get it lighter if you wanted. There. I like it. I love that Dollar Tree has brand name makeup because makeup is so expensive in the stores. Just unbelievable. I'll put that with my open things over there. I also picked up another package of the Curad uh, Camp Camo Band-Aids. These are fabric band-aids. I mean, I'm not a fan that they're uh, camouflage band-aids, but they're really good band-aids. They're Curad brand and... Uh, I used up the whole box that I had before, so I grabbed another one. I like fabric band-aids as compared to the plastic ones. Not a real fan of band-aids on my hand or anywhere to begin with, but if I have to use them, I'm going to use the the fabric ones. So I grabbed that. These were supposed to go in the kids' Easter basket, but uh, they never made it. Um, I found a My Little Pony cotton candy flavored lip balm. I just gave Madeline and Jordan their Easter baskets this past weekend. They came down and uh, they loved it. They were, they were like just going through it, going through it, going through it. They had a good time. And then I found this Peeps vanilla. Is it scented or flavored? Flavored. Because scented is not the same as flavored. Flavored, it tastes like vanilla. Scented, it just smells like vanilla. This says it's flavored, which I might keep for myself because I like vanilla flavor. I might just keep it for myself. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh my gosh, my lips were so chapped on Sunday. I don't know what the deal was. And of course, I was out and I didn't have a chapstick on me. And I was like, oh my God, my lips are so chapped. Mmm. Yeah. That's nice. And it's cute. So that's mine. I'll keep that. I also picked up another one of these John Frieda brand name. John Frieda 
Wonder Drops Hair Mask Frizz Smoothing with Avocado Oil, and it's a 0.85 ounce little package. These, I was really surprised, are not selling as fast as I thought they would. I thought these things would just fly off the shelves. I mean, my store has um, replenished them a couple times, but um, yeah, I, I when I saw them, I grabbed like two of each of the different kinds and I saw these in my store again. And I said, you know what, I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one, so. And in case you guys didn't notice, this is my other pair of glasses that I got. I don't, I think I told you guys in my last video, um, I got two pair of glasses. These are, um, I have to stop and think of what the word is every time I tell somebody what they are. Transition lenses. So if I go outside, they, they turn dark. So instead of buying sunglasses or something to try to fit on my glasses, I got one pair of transition lens glasses and the other ones that I wore in my last video. These are like blue. I don't know if you can see that. And nobody has said anything about these glasses either. So whatever. I don't care. Um, let's see. How about now? Put that next. I found a couple of um, <clears throat> household things. Not household, but decor pieces. I found this little sign that says blessed and it's wood. I'm assuming I, I, it doesn't look like particle board, that particle board, but see, I did that with my nail when I was trying to open it, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to see that side anyway, but this is ceramic. It's like a coaster, you know, the coasters that Dollar Tree sells. That's what these are like. When I bought it, I wasn't sure what it was because it was, it was plastic all around. So I couldn't tell whether this was, <clears throat> excuse my voice today. <clears throat> um, I couldn't tell whether it was a pack of coasters or whether it was just a decor piece because of the plastic that was on it. And it is just a decor piece, which I was okay with it either way, but I was, you know, anxious to find out. And of course I scuffed the back of it with my nail polish and see it was purple. This particular one came unglued and it is nothing but a coaster in a square frame. But I am going to put glue it back in there because I like it. Or you could leave not glue it back in here and then use it as a coaster when you feel like it. But I got this one. I love that saying and the the <clears throat> like what do you call it? <clears throat> Ship lap in the background. These are not quite four inches. No, four and a half inches, I mean. Yeah, like four and two thirds. Two thirds? More than a half? I think it is. Anyway, they're a little over four inches. <laughs> they're a little over four inches. And I got this one that says blessed. <clears throat> I got this one that says love blooms here. Again, with the empty background. And if, if you didn't like this, you could make a shadow box out of the back of it. I mean, if I was creative, I mean, I'm sure people will think of all kinds of things to do with these without do, using them like they are because they do. They're crafty and they know, know how to do things with other things, but whatever. Um, and I got this one, Trust Your Purpose. So that's what I got. I'll show you the three of them together, hopefully, without the blessed one falling. But those are the three that I found. I don't know if there was a fourth one. If there was, I didn't see it. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. I wish you'd get out. And then I found this beautiful canvas. I thought this was really, really pretty. The sun is starting to set now. So you can see the sun shining right through here. Let's, how about, how about down here? There we go. And the relaxed part is silver. Really cute. I thought that'd go cute in my bathroom. So I picked that up. Little canvases with the sawtooth on the back. I grabbed that. So all the decor I have. Um, one of my subscribers, I forget who it is. I, I, 
I always say I'm going to write these things down. No, erase that. I say I'm going to remember who it is that asks me for something. And then I never do. And then I say, I should have wrote that down. And I say, next time I'm going to write down when somebody asks me for something or, you know, they're really looking for something. Anyway, long story to tell you that someone said that they were looking for these owl cutouts. And please let me know who you are. Um, if you didn't tell me that you were looking for them, don't tell me that it was you when it wasn't. Um, but the person who mentioned that they really, really wanted these owl cutouts, I got you two of them. They only had two that were the same. If you want them, let me know down below or send me an email. Um, I have them for you if you want them. <clears throat> I also picked up a couple of washies. I grabbed this one here. I'm not going to take these out of the pack. Yes, I am because I'm, I got to take them out of the package to put them in my washi holder anyway. <clears throat> so I got this one. Real pretty. Pink with hearts. Got that one. I got this one. With the koala bears. Cute, cute, cute. Cutie, cute, cute. So stinking cute. Ugh. And then I got this one, which I don't recall seeing. I know I didn't, don't have the heart one. I'm not sure about the panda one. I said koala, didn't I? Panda bear. Uh, then I found this one. And I honestly believe I don't have this one. Really, really cute with the flowers and the white background. So I got those three washies. I also got this, I went ahead and picked up this Tulip Metallic Fabric Paint. Um, I heard someone say that Tulip is a brand that's carried in Hobby Lobby and that, you know, it's worth way more than a dollar. And it was purple and Caroline wanted to get it. And so I said, okay, uh, not sure how I'll use this. Um, I've never fabric painted before, but it's metallic and it's purple. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. So I want to let you guys know that it's out there. Ooh, this sun is killing me with this reflection. I don't normally film this time of day. You all know me. I'm a late night, uh, Dollar Tree hauler, but, um, I came home from work and, uh, I said, you know what? Let's get her done. So here we are. Picked up a couple toys. Not many. Um, I found this chalk pencil. Isn't this the cutest thing? It looks like a pencil. This is chalk. And this is like a, a spongy type that, you know, they're saying you can erase it on the ground. I don't know if it works or not, but... Um, it's a chalk pencil. Isn't that adorable? I got one for each of the kids for um, Easter. And uh, so I didn't show it right away. Yeah, it says draw, erase, and then sharpen. There's a sharpener on the inside. But I just thought it was so cute. It looks like a big giant pencil. So I got one for each of the kids and one for Grandma's house in case, um, you know, they're here and they want to use it. Actually, Jordan and Caroline were using theirs um, Saturday. So that one's just a spare. Then I found these nets and they are expandable. So I got these for the kids to have here for whatever little, I don't know, catch lightning bugs or butterflies or whatever. They have a gripper handle. They had um, nets before, but they were on a long stick. These are um, expandable. So, <clears throat> you know, you could put these in your beach bag, take them to the beach. I picked up green and I picked up red. I feel like saying, romper, bumper, stomper, do, tell me, tell me, tell me, do. You guys remember that? 
Okay, anyway, I got these for the kids and for Grandma to play romper room with. Um, I also picked up this um, pencil case binder pouch, they're calling it, because it has these homie jobbers to put in a binder. But it's a zippered pencil case or binder pouch, whichever you want to call it. And this back part has like a foam in it that's not in the bag it's actually part of the design of the of the binder pouch but how stinking cute is that smiling clouds on a rainbow how can you pass this up and this was the only design that i saw I, if there's others i don't know and then look it's got a little like rainbow shaped little uh, tag thing, whatever you call that. And I just thought it was really cute, whoops. So stinking cute, had to get it, had to get it. So if you have a little one that's into rainbows or you're into rainbows, why not? Then I picked up this craft wheel. This one has got, let's see if I can show this with the light. It's got a heart. And it spins and you got your little, you know, stencil. It's got another kind of heart. And another kind of heart. And another kind of heart. Whoops. It's stuck. It's stuck. And finally, that one, which I think is gorgeous. But yes, it is a stencil wheel. It's by Crafted Square. And it's, again, hexagon shaped. You must be obsessed with the hexagon shape. So if you're into stenciling and crafting, get yourself the Dollar Tree. Then I picked up a lot of, oh, last, I'm going to show you a couple things and then I got some party stuff. I found the Brillo Basics Foaming Glass Cleaner. Brillo brand for a dollar, you guys. What? It's a 12 ounce container and uh, my friend Connie bought this and she said it works really well. So the next time I saw it, I got it. Actually, I didn't see the window cleaner before. I saw the um, cleaning product and the um, furniture polish, but I had not seen the window one before. And uh, she told me it works good. So on her recommendation, I picked that up. Then I found these new uh, burner covers. Now, I don't have the kind of stove that uses burner covers, but I bought these to craft with because they're just too stinking cute. All right, you ready? Ba -da! Look at these. Look at the truck. Grow where you are planted. Grow where you are planted. And you want to know something? If I had bought these as burner covers, I probably would have been mad because I didn't realize you only got two. I figured there was two of these and two of those. But I'm not mad because that's not why I bought them. So, really cute. They also have um, pot holders, which I got in another haul. They didn't have them when I grabbed this. But I did find the um, pot holders. I don't know if there's oven mitts. I don't recall seeing them. And I don't remember if there's towels either. That's usually how it goes. You get the burner covers, you know, to, to do, be all matchy-matchy. I don't recall seeing the towels or the oven mitts. But just too stinking cute. Can you stand it? And there's another new one that has lemons on it. Says so something like when... When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Really cute. Really, really cute. Yay for me. Then I picked up this Jiffy Foil brand name pie plate. Um, because I make this buffalo chicken dip that I usually bring to parties. And I thought, what a great way to bring this without having to worry about bringing my dish home. Because these are really like really good quality 
Their Jiffy foil comes with the lid. And these are not like your regular Dollar Tree brand. They're Jiffy foil. And they are made in the USA. Pie pan and lid. It's 9 and 9 sixteenths diameter. I don't know why they just couldn't make it 10 inches, but whatever. I've been using that word a lot this fall, haven't I? Is this all I have left? Yeah, and then my friend mail. I told you this was a small one. Uh, this is all party stuff. Party, party. Because I'm, I'm getting ready to celebrate this summer. I found these, this whole set, you guys. I don't know if you've seen these. They're like a colored confetti and you get six tumblers. There's a whole set. Wait till you see them. They're just so cute. You get six tumblers. You get six of the mini plates. These are, how big are they? 5.9 inches. They're that plastic. I picked up four of those. I got the bowl. Your chip bowl. Chip, chip, chip. Chip bowl. I wish I had gotten more than one. And I don't know whether I got another one at another time, but I wish I had gotten more than one. Then I got the dinner plates which you get four of I don't know if you can see that better when I hold it in front of me or over there better in front of me right the dinner plates you only get four of and these are 10.25 inches and for some reason I only bought three of the dinner plates so I have 12 dinner plates and I have 24 of these little plates but these are like snacky plates. You know what I mean? People will have hors d'oeuvres or whatever on these and they'll get used more than the dinner plates. So I think I did get maybe another pack of dinner plates. And then they even have a tray. I'm holding this in front of me because my shirt is like a white color. And they have a little tray you can use too to present your little goodies on. Does it say how big this is? It's a, a smaller size tray. I mean, it's a nice size, but it's a little small. It's uh, on the very bottom. It's like 10 and three quarters. So 10 and three quarters down here. But it's a nice little, what a cute set. You got your thing, your platter, and your bowl, and your plates, and your appetizer plates. And your cups, I know I bought a couple more sets of cups because I knew 12 cups would not be enough. But yay, how fun is that, right? I'm all excited for that party. That'll be a nice little party. And then I found this Celebrate letter banner. Because, um, you know, you never know when you're going to need something like this. And when you're going to need it, when you need it, you can't find it. So I get them and keep them all stored up. But I love the colors in this. Look, at you got this like pale pink and then this blue and like an ivory color. I don't know if you can see that, but really, really nice. So I'll have that. It's seven and a half feet. And then I got this because I really liked the colors in it. And I thought, how fun would this be? Um, it's a, uh, warning banner and it says warning party zone. I thought this would be fun to put out when I have my flamingo party, put it like around outside, like, um, like police crime scene tape. It's 40, whoa, 45 feet of tape. So, um, I think that would be fun. And I thought the colors were just so pretty. This one I'm going to open up just, just because, just because. Of course, I can't find the beginning of it, but that's what it looks like. How cute is that, you know? And it doesn't really say happy birthday or anything on it. It just says hip, hip, hooray. Let's make a wish, sparkles. 
Well, maybe it does say happy birthday, but who cares? Who's going to look that close? It does say happy birthday right there, but you know what? It don't matter. I'm going to use it at the Flamingo party to caution off people from crashing my party. No, anybody can come. You're all invited. You're all invited when I have it. I'm not going to get that back in that plastic, so forget about that. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Um, I do have friend mail. If you want to stick around, I'd be more than happy to have you here. So let's open some friend mail. All right. First of all, I want to start. I have a couple of baffling things that I don't know about. And you know what? I'm going to leave them till last. All right. So this per first package I got was from Sis from Philly. And uh, she sent me this envelope, which everything I pre-opened. It was really hard not to peek inside. So A plus for me for not peeking. Um, so let's see what's inside of here. Because it's like Christmas, you know. I want to peek. I want to peek. So thank you, sis. She sent me an envelope. And it looks like maybe a letter. I brought well, everything I need to open up packages. Letter opener, box cutter, scissors. So we shouldn't have any trouble here. Except that I can't get my letter opener under the little flap. Don't you hate that? Here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh. So, Sis wrote me a letter which I am not going to read on camera because it's it's a two-page letter. But thank you so much, sis. I will read this after I get off camera and I hope it I hope there's nothing in here that tells me anything about what's in here. But um I don't want to take up too much time reading your note and it's probably, you know, between me and you, so I'm going to put that right over there. So, Sis sent me, woohoo, Let's Flamingo Iron-Ons. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So, all my, I can make shirts for all my friends for the Flamingo Party. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she sent me the Flamingo Tape Dispenser. I love this tape dispenser and it does work. It works really nice. I'm going to, I, I think I'm going to bring this one to work and put it on my desk. Thank you, sis. And then something is wrapped up in this little paper. I don't know what it is. I'm very excited. Very excited. What is it? What is it, sis? What is it? It's a pin. Oh. Oh, she made me a pin. She made me a pin with my initials on it. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much, sis. You're the best. That's awesome. You guys send the best friend mail. I feel guilty sometimes, you know? I just, I, you guys send me so much nice stuff and I, I feel like I don't appreciate, not, appre I do appreciate it. I feel like I don't show enough appreciation. I, I just, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at you guys, okay? Um, I got a card right here from Robin Riley. Kindness is contagious, she says. She is from uh, Withamsville, Ohio. Did she saw in there? Or was that a reflection? That's a reflection. She sent me a whoa a card. It's and stuff flew out. It says a simple congratulations isn't enough. Yay! Fantastic! Smile! Good for you! Bravo! Wow! Excellent! Well done! Hooray! 
wonderful, way to go, outstanding. And then she put a little happy sticker on there and a high five and wow. Hi, Kathy, wanted to send you congratulations on your new job. Wow, I love your videos and seeing your pics posts on Facebook. Your Dollar Tree videos are so helpful. Hugs, Robin Riley. Thanks, Robin. So sweet, look. Bring on the happy. Think big, high five, wow. And then the kindness is contagious. Fantastic, yay. Oh, I like these stickers a lot. Thanks, Robin. That's really sweet. Really, really sweet of you. And then I got another card from Jay Hicks from Soul St. Marie, Michigan. And it's got a little puppy dog on here. And Justin, guess what? I got your card. He uh, was messaging in my... Um, in my uh, comments, and I think he also emailed me asking me if I got his card because he didn't want to get lost in the mail because it's got, you know, info on it. So, Justin, I got your card. You'll be entered in the drawings. <clears throat> I'm so glad I joined your channel. Been enjoying your video very much. You're such a sweet lady. Aww. I would like to be added to your next giveaway. Please and thank you, Justin. You got it, Justin. You got it. Thank you for the card and the entry into the giveaway. And then I got an envelope from Janice Erfer from Croydon, Croydon Pennsylvania. Have an extra special Easter, and she made me a card. Aww. I love all these handmade cards. I wish I was talented. And then it flips open like that. It says, Kathy, happy Easter from your friend in Pennsylvania. Love your informative videos and cheerful personality. Hugs, Janice Erfer. <clears throat> P.S. I made the card with washi tape. Look at that. She made that with washi tape. For all of you that always ask, what do you do with washi tape? You can make cards. And Janice also sent me an entry into the giveaway. Yes, yes, yes. Good luck, Janice. And a blank card. Thank you, Janice. I love the card. And the entry. Then I got this envelope. Oh, I don't want to show you the back because the address is on the back. This is from Kelly, Kelly Kapowski. Kelly Kapowski of Rapid City, South Dakota. My, my son said, is her name really Kelly Kapowski? I said, no, it's not Kelly Kapowski. It's Easter. Little chickies riding bikes and scooters. Hello there, Kathy. Sending hugs and smiles and fun. A brand new season has begun. Hope you have a wonderful Easter with family and friends. Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. And she sent me... Ooh. She, ooh. Some... That fell out. Some butterfly stickers. Hard to show because of the butterfly stickers. Cute, cute, cutie, cute. And a little um, bunny little uh, craft thingy. And some Black Eyed Susans. Oh my God. Black Eyed Susans are like one of my favorite flowers. I love them outdoors. Love them. I tried to plant them one time um, over here on the side of my house one year. And uh, they grew, but then I ended up mowing them down because I don't know. Because I'm an idiot. But maybe I will plant them again in one of my planters. And then I won't be able to mow them down. Thanks, Kelly. I love it. I love Black Eyed Susans. Thank you. Thank you. That's so pretty cool that uh, you didn't even know that that was one of my favorite flowers. 
I appreciate that very much. I'm going to keep that out. No, because I got to write down that you gave me that. I write down everything people give me, so I know how kind and generous you all have been. This is from Chris McCollum. <clears throat> and uh, happiness is having someone like you. Oh, Snoopy with Easter ears and Woodstock. Funny ears. To wish you a happy Easter, too. Happy Easter, your subby friend, Chris. <clears throat> Kathy and Caroline, hope you have a happy Easter. Love your channel. You two are so good together. Please make more videos when possible. Know you're busy. Take care. And then she puts some little stickers on the inside. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you. I hope you all had a happy Easter. I know it was a while ago, but... I hope you all had a happy Easter. And then I got this card from Sharon Dumond from Wyoming, Michigan. And she said, sweet like you, fun like you, very bright and sunny too. Oh, Easter again. I love Easter. Whew. And wishing you that kind of Easter, your friend Sharon Dumond. And she said, Dear Kathy, I want to thank you for picking up and sending me the Charlie Brown books. My grandkids love them. I told them that when I was young, when I was a young kid, I used to watch all the Charlie Brown cartoons on TV. Me too. Me too. <clears throat> and used to read the comics in the newspaper. They all thought that was funny and called me old. Hmm, I guess we are. Here is the money for the books and the shipping. Hope this will cover everything. Thank you again. Really appreciate it. Sharon, I'm so glad I could help out. Uh, I kind of forgot, you know, that, not forgot that I sent them to you, but forgot that you said that you would pay me for them. Um, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> oh my goodness. And I have no drink here. Ugh, excuse me. All right, got some more packages. Got some more packages. This is from Tina Andrews from Sligo, Pennsylvania. Another Pennsylvania person. And Tina sent me, oh my goodness. Tina, Tina, Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. We have the same idea. I just bought this one, I think. If I didn't, I at least looked at it. I think I showed it in one of my other videos. Might be over there. <clears throat> Hi, Kathy. Love your channel. You seem so calm and down to earth. Hope you like your gifts. Every time I see something with flamingos, I think of you. Love, Tina. Oh, thanks, Tina. She got me this bag. This canvas um, makeup bag. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And it feels like there's something in it. Oh, Flabingo lip gloss. Thank you, Tina. And oh my gosh, flamingo paper clips. I love them. Love them. Oh my god. They're awesome. They're little rubber flamingos on top of a pink paper clip. Him. No way. No way. Flamingo earrings. Love them. And my favorite fish hook earrings. I love them. Love them. Thank you so much, Tina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. <gasps> Look at this. <clears throat> it's a flamingo spoon. Oh my God. Can you stand it? I love it. Do my little sugar in my tea. Thank you with my flamingo spoon. 
Thank you, Tina. And there's one more thing in here. Oh my goodness. I love these little bags. Dollar Tree sells these. <clears throat> they're, I think they're bigger than this, but. Oh, and a little flamingo keychain with a K on it. With a K on it. Thank you so much, Tina. Those are awesome. Awesome, awesome gifts. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And there's one more thing here. It's a flamingo mask. It's a flamingo mask. It's a flamingo mask. It's a flamingo mask. I love it. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, thank you, Tina. I love it. You guys, I don't know where you guys find all this good flamingo stuff. I never see anything like this. I never see anything good like this or any of these things that were in this bag. Thank you so much, Tina. Wonderful gifts, you guys. You guys, you guys. You guys, you guys. Back in there. You guys, you guys. I can't lose my entries. Them over there. There's Tina's card. <clears throat> yes, I'm talking to myself. I do that quite frequent, frequently. Then I got a package from Andrea H. From, oh boy, Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Why don't, no. W-I. Wisconsin. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look it. Look it. Look it. You guys are amazing. Sometimes doubles are not a bad thing for Kathy. Oh, look at how nicely this is decorated. I don't even want to open it. I don't even want to open it, Andrea. It's so beautiful. Look at the clothespin with the pineapple on it and the other clothespin with the toucan. I don't even want to open it. I mean, I do because I want to see what's inside, but it's so beautiful. And look at this that she made. It's got a flamingo on the top and the little pearls and the flowers. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm going to open this one way or the other. One way or the other. Let's see if I can squeeze this stuff out of here. Oh, planner stickers with flamingos. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good. And flamingo lights. I am my house is going to be lit up like Christmas with all these uh flamingo uh ah, string lights. Can't ever have enough though. Like you said, doubles are not a bad thing. Oh, and a flamingo scarf. A flamingo scarf. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Andrea. It was nice with the sweater. And what else? What else? What else? Ha! Ah! <laughs> Another flamingo uh, tape dispenser. I don't think these are refillable, so I'm cool with you guys sending me these because once they run out, gotta have a new one. Thank you, Andrea. I'm going to try to take this off here without... Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Victory! I took it off without messing it up. And she sent me the flamingo pen with the smooshy smooshies. Love it. And the flamingo trinket dish. You guys think I like flamingos or something? Huh? Huh? 
You think I like flamingos? <laughs> I'm slightly obsessed. That's all I can say. <clears throat> Sorry the packaging to the pineapple balloon is damaged. I hope it still blows up. I guess that's the chance you take when ordering online. Okay. Okay. There's a stick. Oh, I see. She sent me, I love, th th these are the black post-it notes that I can't find yet with the metallic uh, writing on it. If anyone sees those black uh, post-its, please get some for me and I will give you the money. Oh, very nice. I'm sure it will work. I'm sure it will work. And look at this. My neighbors are going to think I've lost my mind. Yes, they are. They're going to think I lost my mind when they see all of this flamingo stuff. Don't leave yet. There's more. There's more of Andrea's package. I'm just putting these in here so I don't lose track of what she sent me. Okay. I took them out of their original package because all the clearance stickers and the packaging was damaged. I hope she will still like them. Oh, this is for Caroline. And I'm not going to open it, Andrea. I'm going to let her open it, okay? I hope you don't mind. Next video she's in, I'm going to let her open those, all right? And look it. What did I tell you about shopping bags? You can never have enough. Look at this one. Look at this one. We don't have Ross around here, so I would never have gotten one of these. Never, never, never. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nice big bag. I love it, Andrea. Love it. Love everything. Thank you so much. Ross, dress for less. We don't have them around here. I've seen them advertised on TV, but no, we don't have any around here. Thank you so much for all of it. And thank you in advance for Caroline's thing. But I will have her open that from you when she's here next time. I don't like to open her packages because I want you guys to see the excitement on her face when she opens it. Okay? Because that, that just makes it all. And then I got this package in the mail. Which I think, whoops, hope I didn't show your address, uh, Tammy Kofelt. I think I sent Tammy something in this package. I bought these envelopes to send friend mail in. And I'm like, hmm, that looks just like the packaging that I sent. So, hey, way to um, recycle. Way to recycle. Either that or you bought the same envelopes I did, but I'm kind of thinking that you recycled. So... She sent me a card. Oh my gosh, I'm out of an hour. See, I can't make short videos. And she said, thank you. Thank you. Oops. Pretty flowers. Kathy, thank you for all your love and kindness and especially the great Dollar Tree hauls. You always brighten my day when I watch your videos. I won a cutting mat a while back and told you to pass it on. I already had one. You sent me a cow, chicken, pig creamer that I hadn't found yet. I absolutely appreciated it and love it so much. Hope you like what I am sending you in return. Love your friend for life, Tammy. Yay, Tammy. I'm glad you liked it. And Tammy sent me a card for the giveaway. You can, you can always win more than once here on my channel. Your name goes right back in the giveaway when you um when you win. So there's more than one chance to win. All right, guys, what have we got here? Ooh, look at these. Look at these stickers, gems. Love those. Thank you. And a Polly Pocket. We have not seen these. Caroline will love this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you. Polly Pocket. 
Now, I was a little too grown for Polly Pocket. She was after I was grown up, but oh, wait, no way. It's got a flamingo in here. Sorry, Caroline, you lose. No, I'll give it to her anyway. She likes, she likes grandma's flamingos. How cute is that? Love it. And then she sent me this, which I'm really surprised got here in one piece. Because every time I send anything fragile, it gets smashed. Aww. Farm sweet farm. This is the one that, um, that I sent her. This is what I sent her. Thank you so much, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so sweet. So, so sweet. I just loved that little creamer. I thought it was so cute. All right, can I put this back in here? And you guys, all right. I'm over an hour, okay? I have one more package, and um, I'm going to not open that today. I'm going to do that in my next video, I promise. Because I have to ask you guys a question, okay? I have to ask you. Because I'm stumped. Um, all of a sudden, I started getting highlights magazines for Caroline in my P.O. box. So I'm assuming that one of my subscribers has signed Caroline up to get highlights magazine. When I first got the first one, I thought, oh, one of my subscribers sent it. And then I was like, well, maybe it was um, just like a try to get me to subscribe to a type thing. But then I got another one. And it has Caroline's name on it. It says Caroline Donovan. That's not her last name, but that's okay. Um, but th whoever's sending these, thank you so much. I remember these magazines when I was a little kid. You know what? It really reminds me of my dentist. My dentist always had these, and I always loved Goofus and Gallant. Goofus and Gallant always told you the right way to act. They were black and white when I was a kid, but I love Highlights Magazine, and whoever is sending this or signed Caroline up to get Highlights Magazine, thank you so much. Um, I, pl I wish you would let me know in the... Um, comments down below. I really, really appreciate it so much. And I'm stumped where it came from. And it says, especially for Caroline Donovan right there. How cute, 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 cute. Her last name is actually Tyson. My son's name is Tyson, but that's okay. She can be Caroline Donovan. All right. Thank you. Who's ever, whoever signed her up for a subscription to highlights. Um, that's what I'm assuming. One of you guys did it. So, so generous of you. I really, really appreciate it. Next thing that's got me losing my mind. I got this package in the mail. Boop, ba -doo. Right? Came, uh, hmm, when did it come? I don't know, last, last Saturday? Last Saturday or last Sunday, I think it was. Not this past one, but the one before that. So this package comes in the mail. I'm like, hmm, what did I order that I don't remember, right? So I open up the package. Open up the package. This is from uh, Top Express. I'm like, Top Express? What? And these two boxes are inside, right? I said, ooh, jewelry. Somebody sent me jewelry. I look in, no card, no explanation, and I open it up, and it's this beautiful watch. This beautiful um, unisex uh, Mercurio, Mercurio watch, and it's got a brown, like, leather snakeskin type um band and I said oh my god wow 
what? Where did this come from? I don't understand. I don't understand. I didn't order watches. All right, what's in the other box? What's in the other box? The exact same watch. So needless to say, I am stumped. I don't know where these came from. Whoever sent them, I truly appreciate them. I, they're gorgeous watches. Um, but I don't know who sent them to me. Don't know who sent these. If you, if somebody, if one of my subscribers sent this to me, please tell me that you sent them to me because I'm going nuts. I don't know where they came from. I got nervous at first because they're from Amazon and I thought, oh my God, somebody stole my Amazon information. Are they from Amazon? Does it say Amazon on here? I thought it did. So I got nervous. I thought somebody, you know, stole my information on my Amazon account that they ordered through my Amazon account. And I was like, oh my God. And I looked and there was no order and I'm just stumped. So if you guys sent me that watch, those watches, thank you so much. But come on, don't uh, leave me in suspense here. If you guys send me something, you got to at least tell me it's you so I'm not losing my marbles. Um... Anyway, thank you, thank you, everybody who sent me friend mail. And I'm going to show you one thing why I'm not opening this last package. This is the last package that I got from Kathy Hughes. And it says for Kathy and Caroline. And I felt bad about opening it because Caroline's not here. But now we're talking, this video is over an hour. And I don't really want to, you know, push it too much farther. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, even with me, with my frog in my throat. I really, sorry about that. I guess I'll have to make sure I got something to drink from now on. Thank you. I got my little pin. Thank you, everybody, for all the flamingo stuff, for everything. You guys are the best. And don't forget, whoever sent those highlight magazines, comment down below. Hope you all have a great, great rest of your day, rest of your week. Don't know that I'm going to get another video up this week. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, I have tomorrow off and then I got to work uh, Dollar Tree on Wednesday. But um, we'll see. I'll do my best. You all have a great night. Stay safe. And I love you all. Bye now.